It's a freaking mess in my bathroom and I'm also a freaking mess. It's currently Sunday and I think it's like 11 right now. I actually woke up at 6 a.m. today to drive my boyfriend to LAX because he's going to New York City for business for a couple days. So I'm going to be alone for a couple days um, until Wednesday, I think. So all I have is you guys hang out with me and I'm just going to take you guys around even though I'm not going to be doing much. My hair is like so dirty right now, but I don't know if I'm going to wash it or just go out like this because like fuck it. I have a couple errands I need to run today. Um, actually quite a few. So I need to like return some stuff uh, to like UPS. And I need to go to the mall because I bought some clothes like impulsively and I spent almost like a thousand dollars and then like immediately after I regretted it. I'm like, no way Satan, not today. A part of me was like, the sales lady was so nice to me and then like I was just trying on things for like a long ass time like, and I felt really bad for like wasting her time. When I got home, I looked at my bank account, I saw the receipt, I'm just like, no way, no way am I gonna do that today. So I decided to return some things, not everything, like I mean, I, I'm, I don't want to return everything, but I am returning like a portion of it that I don't think was really that cute anyway. So that's what I need to do. And I need to do some grocery shopping. This girl right here just won't eat her regular dog food. So I have to go buy some groceries and cook for her. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna get yet. I think I might get some salmon. Might just like cook for myself and also cook for her. Um, but we'll see. And right now, I'm still trying to figure out if I should wash my hair. Um, I might not, but okay, I'm gonna go change. Bye. Okay, literally don't judge me because my closet is a mess. That's us. Um, so yeah, these are some of the things I need to return. I still need to find a box for them. I bought some clothes from Maj. I put them here. It's like this dress. Like this dress was like 500 bucks. And literally, I don't even know why I got it. It wasn't even that cute. I don't have a thing for green lately. So maybe that's why. Like I don't know if you can notice. If you notice like a lot of my shit is green. <laughs> so yeah, I want to return this. So I'm just going to leave it here changed um nothing special i've worn this before this is like super comfortable it's from maritzia and it comes in like different colors i don't know if they still have it because i got this like a couple months ago but i literally love it it's like so classy but also kind of sexy Gosh, yeah crazy girl hi baby hi baby hi <laughs> My dog is literally so annoying, like she just won't eat. And I'm here flipping patties for her. So I wanna take care of her first um, because I'm gonna be out of the house for a couple hours. And of course my baby has to eat first. <laughs> Go eat. Go eat, Kiwi. Go eat. Okay. Come on, go eat. Kiwi, go eat. 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 You see what I have to deal with every day? I was looking everywhere for um, a box, but I couldn't find it. So I need to pack the machine return. I'm just gonna pack it with um, a plastic bag and wrap it. I think it will work. I just hands, but we all grow old. Can't have my soul. Let my heart turn stone. Kiwi still wouldn't eat. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna make her something else tonight. 
And so, anyway, the first stop we're going is uh, gonna be UPS because I need to return some Amazon things. I ain't got space to be thinking about rolling no dirt on my thinking. Me and you, I guess it's over. It was a rainbow. I came to the mall to return stuff, but I ended up just shopping instead. Nothing really caught my eye, but definitely I love the colors this season. What do you guys think about these outfits? I feel like the way I dress is super bipolar. I can look like a stripper the day before and look like I'm attending a parent-teacher conference the next day. When the stars line up, that's that. I've been attached, just looking out. We move so fast, was moving south. My secret sauce, move in and out. Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth. <laughs> and all of them have like color added to them so I just try to pick the ones that are a little bit more expensive. Does anyone know what this is? I think I've seen it somewhere but I have no idea. store they're not that pretty but whatever <laughs> they're they serve a purpose and they're also pretty cheap i think it's like 13 dollars um for a dozen i think this, this is a dozen um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yes it's a dozen donuts uh, <coughs> as you guys can see i still have this nasty cough but i don't have covid anymore I started feeling symptoms like a week ago. I was having like 103 fever and it was just not going away. Um, and then I was just feeling like death. Like literally my whole body was like hurting. I didn't really have like shortness of breath or anything like that. But then um, on Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, so Friday, actually Thursday night. I started having like shortness of breath and I was getting very lightheaded actually. I was like getting really dizzy. Um, and I was getting kind of worried because I was scared that I was gonna t it would turn into like pneumonia or something. So um, I thought I can just sleep it out and see if like it'll get better, but it didn't. So the next morning, like I was still very out of breath. Um, I can barely like make it up the stairs and then when I cough it was just like this crazy ass cough and it just sounded like there was a lot of phlegm and just it was crazy so I'm like I think I should go to the ER because I was getting kind of scared so I check into the ER and they did all these type of tests on me so I did like an x-ray a chest x-ray blood work and then what else I think a uh, urine test and oh they also made me like take some medications on the spot and there was like this one I don't even know liquid thing was so nasty I almost yacked and then I asked like the nurse for like some chaser and they gave me juice <laughs> but all of my results came back as normal um, well, I actually got another COVID and also flu test and it was negative, so which, which is good. The doctor just said it was like a viral upper respiratory infection. 
Yeah. And add some water. They said to add one quart of water per packet, but I don't even know what a quart is, so I'm just gonna eye it. Okay. Does this look great? Also, this is such a cute vase. It's um, it's from Tiffany's. Uh, we got it as a gift from my boyfriend's mom as like a housewarming. So that was really sweet of her. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump it in. Oh, they actually said we, I have to stir. I have to stir um, the flour food. I'm just gonna stir with this. Then I have the second dozen. Ah! I actually, this is actually my second time getting COVID. Um, I don't know. I've heard people getting it like three times, and I've heard people getting it like zero times, even though they've been out and about like way more than I have. Uh, but yeah, I got COVID once. Um, back in December of last year, right after, like two days after my birthday. This is when like the whole Omicron surge was happening in LA and literally over like the course of a weekend, almost all my friends got it. Even like friends that I didn't see that weekend, like they got it from somewhere else. So it's crazy. And then apparently there's like another like surge going on lately. And um, I'm hearing a lot of people getting it as well. My dog's a drama queen. Just kidding, I think she's activating her um, guard dog instincts. I've been feeling a little bit depressed today. I don't know why. To be honest, like I haven't been home alone in a while, I think two years to be exact. Um, I mean, it's not that like I can't be home alone, but I don't know, like I just, it's just not my thing. <laughs> I mean, I know we all have to like learn to be alone on our own sometimes, but um, I haven't really been in like the best mind heads headspace lately, so I just kind of wish there's somebody next to me right now, but it's okay. I will survive. I feel like, I don't know, this is about to get very dark, but in two days, um, which is June 7th, today's June 5th. So in two days, June 7th is actually, um, my mom's like seventh year death anniversary. <sighs> yeah, like I'm so sorry for dumping this on you guys, but it's just, it's been on my mind. Like literally every year around this time, um, I think my body just naturally kind of goes into um, kind of shock and grief mode so it's been kind of hard for me i don't really talk about it that much because i feel like not that many people understand just like how difficult it is i thought about like killing myself you know i've got put in on like antidepressants like i've been through it all <laughs> it was that bad um but lately just kind of been reflecting and um i mean I, I don't know i'm just like rambling right now i don't even know what i'm trying to say but um i guess i just want to say like you know my life is good i'm very very grateful like super grateful for everything that i have um but there's just one thing that i've been thinking about like lately and i feel like sometimes like I have this like identity crisis a little bit. It's not that I grew up without a mom, but it's like during those very important years of my life and I'm like developing all these like 
ideas and beliefs and um, values. She, you know, she was very sick most of the time. So I was kind of just like taking care of myself and going through a lot of like teenager problems, like all on my own. Sometimes people talk about like, oh, you know, my mom taught me this or because my mom did this back then. So now I developed this habit of doing this and that. And it's like, I didn't have any of that. <laughs> um like the saddest part is like i've been trying to learn more about my mom like by going through her old emails um i don't tell anyone this like ever but i mean i have access to like some of her old emails so i read what she writes to people back in like the early 2000s um texting wasn't that Convenia wasn't really like widespread and people use like email I think most of the time I, I get to read like what she wrote to other people and um, sometimes she has like email communications with my dad and stuff and then I just read it through I get to like kind of get to know mo more about her through that and it's just really sad I mean I don't want to self-pity but it's just like it's it's so sad and sometimes I just really wish she's here like like sometimes I would um, wake up in the middle of like my sleep and I would just be in total shock that like, oh hey, like my mom is not here anymore. <laughs> Sorry. I know I will be fine and um, like I'm not super religious or anything, but I know that like God is with me. Well guys, I'm gonna cook a little bit. Um, I rarely cook, it's always take out, take out, take out, but I have some time today. And I'm gonna cook some rice. It's not really a rice cooker, it's more of like a, like a hot pot cooker. But how do you even cook hot pot in this? Like, it's not portable or anything. But I mean, it works well for cooking rice though. It cooks, it cooks rice in like 15 minutes. So I was trying to get the socks. No. Come here. Leave it. Fold some clothes. You guys ever have like people talking behind your backs for like no freaking reason? Cause that's like me. I literally have like these group of people just like talking behind my back when they don't even like know me in person, you know? I don't know. It is what it is. So I guess for context, <coughs> Jesus. there's like a group of people that I used to kind of hang out with. And this was like when I was in college. And obviously, like, we're all a little bit different when we're in college. You know, most of us, it's not like we have, like, a lot of money. And, you know, most of the time, we're probably just broke-ass college students. And, you know, broke-ass college students live a certain way. But after we graduate, you know, we start making money. You know, we meet... I cannot fold this. Um, when we meet different people and sometimes like you start like elevating in life which there is nothing wrong but i don't know i have like these group of people that they're no longer my friends obviously but they're just saying shit like oh i changed so much you know like i am so different than how i was before but i'm just like bruh why the hell 
would I want to be the same place where I was like three years ago? Literally, people just can't like improve or level up or like, you know, grow like without being hated on, huh? It's freaking stupid. And look at her. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like, it's just, it's ridiculous, you know? And another stupid part is that these people, like, I don't, I haven't talked to them in like three or four years. And they only judge based off of like my social media, like things I post online. And it's like, they don't even know me in real life. They don't, they don't know who I am. They haven't, they never even like spoken a word to me after. You guys see this? On social media, we always like, like, come on, face it. Like we always post like, the best moments in our life you know it's not like i'm gonna post myself like just crying or you know being all depressed and stuff all the time like obviously i choose what i post and most of the times there are they are good things you know like going out to eat receiving presents and all that and then they're basically saying like i changed so much and like all i care is about like money and i'm like a gold digger or something just like come on you guys are pulling this out of your ass or something but yeah it is what it is not going to waste my time explaining myself and i don't have to nor do i owe anyone an explanation like literally if someone else is living their best life and it's not doing harm to your life or your loved one's life, you should just like let them be. Just let them have their time of day. Anyway, thank you for spending the day with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, bye.